collapse, a super empath takes to ruin a narcissist's life. Today, let's talk about the interesting idea of a super empath and how their unique skills can break down the image of narcissism. A super empath is someone who has spent a lot of time and energy taking care of their inner self. They have learned how important it is to value themselves, set healthy limits, and face the worst parts of human nature. The amazing people in this group are often called kryptonite to narcissists. However, what makes strong empaths different and able to see right through a narcissist? People who are super empaths have a strong intuition that helps them figure out when someone's actions or goals don't make sense. For them, it lets them figure out if a narcissist is trying to control or manipulate them, or if they are easily tricked and manipulated. Super empaths have also set strong boundaries to protect their personal lives and feelings, which makes it hard for narcissistic people to get inside their sacred space. They fully understand how important they are and choose not to get involved in the troubled drama that usually surrounds people who are self-centered. Consider subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell to get the latest news and views on this interesting subject. By doing this, you'll be quickly told about any new features. Let the trip begin. Now let's talk about what super empaths do to break down narcissists. Number one, a super empath can question whether or not what a narcissist says is true. When people with a lot of empathy talk to narcissists, they can feel how hollow their personalities are. No one can get away from the narcissist's act, no matter how they look. This is how they protect themselves from being judged. They make up a fake character. However, a person with a lot of empathy can see through the narcissist's false ideas about themselves, other people and the world. They effortlessly see through the narcissist's conceit, their sense of being better than others, and their false sense of entitlement. It's amazing how well the super empath can read the narcissist's feelings and thoughts like a book. Because of this, the narcissist's tries to control them don't work. People who are very perceptive quickly spot when a narcissist is trying to provoke or control them and act in the right way. Because they are so sensitive, super empaths easily see through the narcissist's facade of charm, mimicry, and claims of being able to predict the future. They find this kind of behavior disgusting and unbearable. Second, being able to spot a narcissist because you are empathetic. Narcissists lie all the time, but people with deep understanding can tell the difference between truth and lies on their own. Some people have very good senses that can tell lies, half-truths, and tricks even from far away. When making choices, super empaths use what they know about themselves and what they know about the world. They stay away from ignorance and never give in to the narcissist's elaborate stories. Instead, they act in a realistic and honest way, not giving in to the narcissist's tricks. The narcissist's mean and self-centered behavior turns off the super empath, even if they are able to make them feel like they share their feelings. The narcissist thinks that empathy is cold, selective, temporary, and skewed, but people who really feel empathy know this is not true. On the other hand, Real knowledge is like a soothing balm that makes people feel at peace. Super empaths have an amazing knack for figuring out what other people are trying to say and seeing through all the masks they wear. By getting through the narcissist's masks, they show what's really going on inside. Third, borders that are clear and leave no room for confusion. A real super empath will never lie to their loved ones about what they can and can't do. They are happy with their own lives and value peace. They have built up their sense of self-worth on their own, so they don't need other people to confirm it. They have a very good sense of when they are being forced to do something they don't want to do, leaving no room for doubt. As soon as they start, their limits are set in stone and can't be changed. 
When they have to, they have the guts to say no, which tests the ego. For a narcissist, the most important thing is to stay in charge and make sure their plans are carried out perfectly. On the other hand, people who are overflowing with kindness may find it hard to deal with these kinds of problems. The super empath will step in if the narcissist keeps acting out after being challenged. Before we talk about the fourth point, I'd like to know if you've ever met a narcissist and if they hurt you. Also, do you know anything about healing through mental energy? If so, I'd like to hear your thoughts. If not, please tell me about the ways you fix yourself empathically. 4. Making narcissists feel less good about their own self-worth. Super empaths have an amazing ability to see through a narcissist's show of power and find out what their real weaknesses are. They know very well what the narcissist's biggest weaknesses are. When they need to, super empaths quickly and directly address the narcissist's lies, driven by their righteous anger, unwavering strength and unwavering honesty. There can be long-lasting effects when you break the narcissist's mask. An angry and self-aware empath doesn't hurt others like narcissists do. They are very clear about what they want and how to get it. They don't take something from a narcissist against their will if they don't need it. They fight the narcissist like fighters of light, following their own morals and the lessons the world has taught them. Because the super empath is always honest, the ego has no chance. They are poisonous and destroy the narcissist's life. Fifth, stop the narcissist from putting their own problems on the people they are focusing on. Narcissists, who have deep-seated fears, love taking advantage of other people's doubts. Their inner turmoil doesn't leave much room for honest self-reflection. On the other hand, a super empath is sure of themselves and their views, which helps them quickly figure out what someone is really trying to do. Because they have a strong sense of who they are, super empaths can't be affected by narcissists' projection techniques. Assumptions like these are false, so they don't care about when people try to do that. They see what the narcissist wants them to see, like looking through a window that the narcissist is trying to shake into a mirror image of themselves. Super empaths know that narcissists don't have a strong base from which to judge other people's lives. Narcissists are so focused on creating their own world that they forget who they are. So how can they accurately describe someone else? How can they have a clear view of someone they don't really understand? The narcissist's claims make the super empath laugh because they know that the narcissist is actually showing who they really are. Those are the last words we will say today. Please let us know what you think in the part below if you found this interesting. Also, don't forget to sign up for more information if you want to learn more about vanity. We're excited for you to be at our next showing. Until then, take care of yourself and good luck. Ever felt the sting of disrespect from a narcissist, unsure of how to counter it? Worry not, for today you've stumbled upon a treasure trove of wisdom. Prepare yourself as we're about to unveil 12 transformative tactics to reclaim the respect that's rightfully yours. Get ready to roll up your sleeves, dive deep, and seize the respect you're owed. 1. Unwavering self-esteem. Seemingly simple at first glance, this tactic holds profound significance. Too often, we neglect to honor ourselves with the respect we deserve. This oversight becomes especially critical in the face of a narcissist's relentless boundary testing. The key, stand firm, summon your courage, and unequivocally declare, no. No to being treated as a doormat, no to unjust demands, and above all, no to disrespect. Embrace your self-esteem as an impenetrable shield, commanding respect from all who dare to cross your path. Wear it proudly, for even the most steadfast narcissist will hesitate before challenging your boundary of dignity. 2. 
mastering the dance of emotions. This strategy delves into the intricate art of navigating emotional minefields when dealing with a narcissist. These characters often wield their emotions like weapons, skilled in the art of manipulation. Yet, if you can maintain your poise, decipher their triggers, and refuse to let their emotional storms dictate your inner calm, triumph awaits. Granted, it's no walk in the park. It demands patience, practice, and unshakable self-awareness. But once mastered, not only will you outmaneuver narcissists, but you'll also find yourself sailing smoothly through all emotional waters. 3. Embrace independence. Wear it proudly. Here lies the heart of the matter. Narcissists feed on control, basking in the illusion of dominance over your life. But by flaunting your independence, you strip them of their power. It's about asserting financial autonomy, nurturing emotional sovereignty, and showcasing intellectual self-reliance. Display your unique perspectives, exhibit your ability to make decisions autonomously, and demonstrate that you thrive independently of their influence. This unapologetic display of self-sufficiency will earn you the narcissist's begrudging respect, forcing them to acknowledge that their usual manipulation tactics hold no sway over you. They'll come to realize that you're a force to be reckoned with, impervious to their attempts to control. 4. Embrace the complexity of their insecurities. Prepare yourself for this nuanced strategy that requires a deep well of understanding and empathy, a true test of character. Dive into the labyrinth of their insecurities, for beneath their veneer of self-absorption lies a tapestry of vulnerabilities. I don't advocate pandering to these insecurities, but rather grasping them grants you a distinct advantage. With this insight, you can navigate potential conflicts with finesse, akin to untangling the threads controlling a marionette. Once deciphered, you gain the ability to anticipate their moves and shield yourself more effectively. 5. Solution-Focused Mindset A Blueprint for Triumph This life hack transcends situations, proving especially potent when dealing with narcissists. Remember, these individuals thrive on chaos and conflict, relishing in the chaos of blame. However, by consistently prioritizing solutions, you unveil a powerful truth. Their tactics hold no sway over your resolve. In essence, you signal disinterest in their melodramatic antics, embodying a beacon of positivity aimed at progress. This approach often catches narcissists off guard earning you their begrudging admiration. 6. Radiate unshakable confidence. Prepare to witness the transformative power of this monumental strategy. We all understand the magnetic allure of confidence in various situations. When facing off against a narcissist, confidence becomes your potent secret weapon. They possess an uncanny knack for detecting self-doubt, relishing in its exploitation. They prey on your vulnerabilities, seeking to dominate and diminish you. But fret not, for the antidote lies within. Confidence. Cultivate your self-assurance, my comrades. Trust in your abilities, decisions, and inherent value. Stride into any setting as though you own it completely, and observe as even the narcissist cannot help but take notice. This isn't about vanity or hubris. It's rooted in unyielding self-assurance and a profound recognition of your worth. By exuding such confidence, you command respect, not because they willingly offer it, but because your unwavering stance demands it. 7. Embrace your singular essence. The very traits that define your uniqueness also serve as your most formidable shield against a narcissist's manipulation. These cunning individuals endeavor to shape and dominate you, yet standing steadfast and preserving your distinct perspectives, convictions and values sends an unmistakable signal. You are not one to be coerced or controlled. 
By embracing your singular essence, you compel the narcissist to engage with you on your terms, insisting on their recognition and reverence for your individuality. Embrace and cherish your uniqueness, boldly showcasing it for all to see. 8. Boldly confront them. Challenging the status quo is a notion alien to narcissists, who prefer to bask in their perceived authority and dominance. By daring to question their assertions or assumptions, you shatter the mold they seek to impose upon you. This action showcases that you are not a mere echo, dutifully mirroring their beliefs and opinions. However, execute this challenge with finesse, eschew confrontational or antagonistic behavior, as it would only stoke unnecessary conflict. Instead, express your disagreements or alternative viewpoints respectfully. Through this approach, you assert your capacity to form independent thoughts and fearlessly articulate them. This tactful assertiveness holds the potential to revolutionize how a narcissist perceives and acknowledges your presence. 9. Seek common ground. While narcissists may relish discussing themselves, their interests, and their achievements, they also appreciate when others share in their passions. Thus, endeavor to identify areas of shared interest and engage them in these topics. This strategic move steers the conversation away from potential conflict zones, establishing a positive platform for interaction. It is imperative to note that this approach hinges on maintaining reciprocity. You are not merely catering to their interests, but rather identifying common ground where both parties can connect. This approach can significantly contribute to earning a narcissist's respect. 10. Unyielding adherence to your values. Your values serve as the bedrock of your identity, guiding your every choice and interaction. When confronted by narcissists, they may employ manipulative tactics or relentless pressure to bend your values to fit their distorted narrative. Yet, it is crucial to stand firm. Your values are unwavering, steadfast, and beyond compromise. Once a narcissist perceives the steadfastness of your values, they will be less inclined to manipulate you. They will recognize that you cannot be easily influenced or controlled. This unwavering commitment to your principles commands respect. 11. Embrace the healing power of forgiveness. Before making assumptions, let's clarify what forgiveness truly entails. It does not mean absolving the narcissist of their actions or condoning ongoing disrespect. Not at all. Instead, forgiveness is a practice that frees your own peace of mind. Clinging to resentment, anger, or hurt grants the narcissist power over your emotions. They exploit these negative feelings to manipulate and control. However, through the embrace of forgiveness, you strip them of this power. It is a transformative act that releases you from their grip, demonstrating your resilience and inner strength. By embracing forgiveness, you render their tactics ineffective, ultimately earning their reluctant respect. Remember, forgiveness serves your well-being, allowing you to let go of negativity and move forward on a positive trajectory. 12. Forge and fortify your boundaries. Let me underscore the vital role boundaries play in navigating interactions with a narcissist. They persistently probe the edges of what they can manipulate, eager to breach any semblance of limits. However, if you erect sturdy, unequivocal boundaries and steadfastly uphold them, you compel the narcissist to acknowledge and respect your borders. They may resist or attempt to challenge, but your unyielding stance leaves them with no alternative but to heed your boundaries. Here's the crucial aspect. Once these boundaries are set, it's imperative to enforce them rigorously. Ensure there are repercussions when a narcissist oversteps, refusing to yield an inch. Make it unequivocally clear that your boundaries are sacrosanct, and over time, they'll learn to honor them. 
Bear in mind, consistency is paramount. Consistently deprive the narcissist of their desired sustenance, rather than sporadically. You've now unlocked 12 potent strategies for commanding a narcissist's respect, yet this is merely the tip of the iceberg. Would you like to delve deeper into disarming narcissists, or uncover the covert mind games they so desperately conceal? Choose your next move wisely, and demonstrate your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the intriguing phenomenon known as the flying monkeys. But before we plunge into that captivating topic, don't forget to ring that bell icon and subscribe to our channel for a steady stream of fascinating content on narcissism. Get ready to immerse yourself in a wealth of captivating videos brimming with valuable insights. Now let's refocus on our main agenda, navigating the realm of flying monkeys and how to navigate their antics. In this video, we'll explore effective strategies for dealing with situations where a narcissist manipulates others against you. You've likely encountered the term flying monkeys in the context of dealing with self-centered individuals. These are the individuals whom the narcissist strategically targets within your social circle, be it your parents, friends, siblings or co-workers, spreading negative stories to undermine your support system and recruit allies for themselves. Encounters with flying monkeys often peak during divorces, where shared extended family networks can significantly influence the dynamics. The narcissistic partner seizes this opportunity to approach mutual acquaintances, tarnishing your reputation and vying for control over the narrative. Their ultimate goal is to sway these individuals to their side, thereby weakening your support network and bolstering their perceived superiority. Being ensnared in a narcissistic relationship already breeds self-doubt due to the constant gaslighting from the narcissist. When those closest to you also align with the narcissist, it exacerbates feelings of self-doubt and isolation. Ever pondered how they orchestrate their manipulative maneuvers? Narcissists possess an enchanting charm and magnetic personality. They emit an aura of benevolence and wield a profound grasp of social dynamics, effortlessly weaving intricate networks. Through their artful manipulation, they persuade others to embrace the web of deceit they weave. Leveraging their charm, they craft a blend of logical persuasion and emotional appeal, enticing people to rally behind them willingly. They spare no effort in tarnishing the reputations of your nearest and dearest, employing calculated condescension and artful rhetoric. But beware, these are just a glimpse of the myriad tactics they employ to bolster their facade. They deftly exploit your weaknesses, fabricating elaborate narratives teeming with outright falsehoods, all to satisfy their selfish desires. Their aim is unequivocal, absolute control. This can only be achieved if everyone around them falls into their meticulously laid plans. In a way, their machinations resemble the intricate games children play on a playground. However, the stakes are significantly higher and their strategies far more effective as they strive to dominate every facet of their surroundings. For the narcissist, triumph is paramount. Their primary impetus is the acquisition of power and dominion over others, a means to elevate their own sense of self-worth. But how does one navigate a situation where they find themselves ensnared in the manipulative clutches of a narcissist? Enter the infamous flying monkey scenario, Above all, grant yourself ample time to navigate and process the myriad emotions entwined with this predicament. It's entirely natural to grapple with feelings of sorrow and betrayal when a narcissist sows seeds of doubt and deceit among those once close to your heart, fashioning a web of falsehoods to tarnish your reputation. You might find yourself faced with unanswered calls and plans fizzling into oblivion leaving you adrift in a sea of solitude. Consider the plight of an empathetic soul entangled with a self-absorbed sibling. 
Despite the brothers' relentless efforts to besmirch his character and disseminate venomous rumours within their social circle, physical distance limited frequent communication. Nonetheless, this insidious brand of psychological warfare inflicted a profound wound upon his compassionate spirit. To navigate the turbulent waters of emotional aftermath, prioritize your own well-being and seek solace in the embrace of trustworthy confidence, be they friends, family, or a compassionate therapist. Furthermore, stand firm in the face of baseless accusations, armed with irrefutable evidence, and maintain open lines of communication with those ensnared in the narcissist's manipulative web. At a family gathering, our empathic protagonist found himself bewildered by the frosty reception and distant demeanour of his kin. Puzzled and perplexed, he ruminated over past interactions, scouring his memory for any unintentional transgressions that might have provoked such a cold shoulder. At times, he even entertained the outlandish notion that news of his own demise had somehow eluded him, or that some inexplicable calamity had befallen his name. Yet, the puzzle remained frustratingly unsolved, its pieces scattered beyond his grasp. Months later, a revelation rippled through his social circle, laying bare his brother's sinister intentions to disseminate falsehoods and deceit. The disclosure struck him like a thunderbolt, exposing the intricate web of manipulation woven by the narcissist with alarming precision. Witnessing the seamless orchestration of manipulation by the ego-driven sibling left him grappling with a profound sense of despair. Despite the intricate nuances of familial relationships, the gentle-hearted brother found himself chattered and adrift, unsure of how to navigate the treacherous waters ahead.